Today, January 10th, at about 3 a.m. Pacific time, the moon ingresses into Punarvasu Nakshatra, the constellation of cyclicity and repetition patterns. And this ingress occurs in the lunar cycle based on the new moon in Mula. So the Tarabala between Punarvasu and Mula is very important. Tarabala means the type of potency that this star group, Punarvasu, has relative to the base, which is Mula. Punarvasu has the seventh Tarabala related to Mula. The seventh Tarabala is called Naidhana, or setback. It's the opposite of progress. It's the means of getting further from your goal. So what we have here is a statement, Punavasu Mulaya Naidana, which in English means repetition sets back the progress of the lie destroyer. The repetition of things makes them seem correct or normal. So we fail to identify something as being unhealthy simply because we do it a lot or simply because it's the only thing that we know we don't know any other type of behavior except for this dysfunctional behavior so therefore this dysfunctional behavior seems normal and the failure to identify what is dysfunctional or what is bad or what is unhealthy is the failure of mula mula's whole reason for existing is to identify weeds and pull them out is to identify things that are hidden. Punarvasu, however, makes things repetitious. And by repetition, we accept. This is the way it's always been done. This is the only way to do it. This is how people are. Another reason why Punarvasu sets back Mula. Mula's task is to change things. Mula actually wants to destroy bad things. Punarvasu will keep repeating things. See, Punarvasu keeps restoring something. Something dies and it brings it back to life. So Mula is trying to kill something, Punarvasu brings it back to life. So what you have to watch out for is the tendency to slip back into dysfunctional and unhealthy patterns and behaviors and outlooks because of the fact of force of habit. A force of habit. A force of habit. A force of habit. So today be extra wary and conscious to not succumb to the force of habit and not succumb to the perception of goodness based on the quantity of how often it's done. Just because something is repeated doesn't mean you have to keep repeating it. And just because something is repeated doesn't mean that it's normal.